back. All right, selling your home doesn't have to be hard. Open Door lets you skip the hassle of listings and showings with a few simple steps online. Is that easy? Patrick Mahoney with Open Door will walk us through it. This is great for someone who just actually sold a house and bought a new one. Yes. Ooh, now you tell me, right? Let's talk about this. How sure. are you transforming really this whole buying and selling process? Sure. So Open Door is a simple and hassle free way to buy and sell homes here in Denver. If you're looking to sell, you can go to our website, opendoor.com and request a competitive no obligation offer within 24 hours. If you like the offer, you can then choose your own closing timeline. So no staging, no having strangers come in and out for weeks on end, it's great. And then on the buy side, if you're looking to buy, you can use our mobile app to see any of the open door homes listed throughout Denver and use that app as a front door key to give yourself your own self-guided tour between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. Now, part of buying a home, it's first of all, it's a daunting process yes. because it's a huge investment, yes. right? It's much like buying a car. You're spending a lot of money. You hope you've, you've covered all your bases, but you're always scared about getting that lemon. Oh, yes. You're always scared. So what are some of the tips that you have or really maybe some indicators that maybe your dream home might yeah. not be what you think it is? There's five things Open Door recommends that buyers keep an eye out for to make sure they're not getting that lemon of a mm -hmm. home. Uh, the first is cracks. If you're seeing cracks in the ceiling or in the ground walls that you think you could put a quarter in, quarter is kind of a good rule of thumb from okay. a size perspective, it could be a sign of foundational uh, damage that might not be fixable. Uh, the second is pests. Nobody wants to share their home with termites. Nope. Termites can also be hard to spot, so you're going to want to get a pest inspection regardless. But if you see little piles of sawdust by the baseboards, that can be an indicator of termites. Okay. The right. third is paint. Again, new paint, fantastic. However, sometimes if you see spots of paint, you want to take a closer look to make sure it's not covering mold or perhaps a Band-Aid repair job. Right. I actually do look at that, yeah. Yeah. And the fourth, um, smell, odor. Use your nose. Your nose is a powerful tool. If you walk into an open house and you smell a really strong scent of air freshener, it could be worth checking out because you could be masking uh, lingering smells from smoking or from pets or even mold. So right. you want to keep an eye on that. Um, and then the fifth is dated uh, plumbing and electrical. So if you see low water pressure, dim or flickering lights, or even a really wet yard, that could be signs of leaks or cracks that can be super expensive to fix. Right, absolutely. And those tips and more can be found on your website. Yes. Patrick, we appreciate you being here. And for the no hassle way to buy or sell your home, visit opendoor.com today and request a free no obligation offer on your home. Open door paid for today's segment. All right, now that you've gone ahead, purchased a new home, perhaps it could use some new siding to spruce it up. Dave Thomas from Lifetime Windows and Siding has all the details. Thank you. Thank you.